from this and this and look at all those scratches to this stay with us and we'll show you how to do that in just a few minutes hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys in today's video we are going to attempt to fix another scratch guys terrible scratch on that bumper check it out here missing paint here as well here fine scratches it looks terrible guys but we do not want to repaint the whole bumper so we'll show you guys what method we use how we blend the paint and all that stuff it will be almost invisible at least i hope so so stay with us and we'll show you guys how to do that and what materials we use quick quick introduction guys every car we get at the shop we make at least 200 videos why because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful let's start on it now so what we'll be using now guys okay this is a pen by duplicator guys you can find the link in the description of the video below this is not a sponsored video guys this is something that we use guys here at the shop and uh, it's amazing amazing product they come okay with a scratch fix uh, we'll show you with the edge trimmer we will explain what that means with a brush with a little bitty pin like kind of like a pen on the front and also guys you have clear coat bottle right here as well so what we are going to do now i'm going to guys go ahead and shake it really good now this is guys the scratch uh, tip on front what do you do with that thing okay you go where the paint is and you need to clear okay clear everything and you need to scratch the area guys okay that will be fixing okay check it out how it okay it fixes it and if you have loose paint it peels that thing off so it's a little bit like sandpaper on a little bitty tip so it makes things really easy to use that way we can clean okay if we have any paint that is loose okay like right here i think this thing will actually clean with acetone i'm going to get some and show you now we have a little bit right here on top guys so let me see if we can come just a little bit closer okay perfect like that i want to show you what i'm doing i'm going to clean all that loose paint now okay perfect and here the same thing to this side perfect now guys let me show you what we'll be doing next so now let me show you guys some right here as i said this looks like it's plastic from another bumper now use always gloves and eye protection but i'm going to get some uh, acetone okay just acetone guys and i'm going to see if i can touch that spot don't spend too much time because you can damage your existing paint and your clear coat okay that thing did come out i want to see if i have anything else here that we can clean quick because if you spend too much time you can guys eat your paint you can guys eat your clear coat so you don't want that to happen if you don't have any paint transfer or anything like that from another car just get um, rubbing alcohol okay this is just rubbing alcohol and clean the whole area before we continue and let it dry okay we will let it dry and we will continue so now guys if you remove that cleaner you have a little bit like pen tip on the front okay that you can uh, that you can use okay let me just focus i'll try to focus okay here now if you open that shake it good you have a brush guys actually that is inside with your cover so what i'll do i'll just go ahead and grab the brush guys and okay give me a second because i just dropped mine and i need to clean it with uh, alcohol so we can continue okay perfect now get the brush and i'm going to gently guys okay cover that area try not to get out just go to the edge that needs to be fixed so we keep doing that
Okay, and we let it dry. When it dries, guys, we are going to go ahead and continue with the next step. I'll explain what it is. You're going to notice that when that thing starts drying, it will actually, guys, okay, what will happen? Let's now focus on top. I'll be doing on that edge right here. When it dries, it's going to shrink. That's perfectly fine. It will take a while, guys. But I think it will look great towards the end. Okay, perfect. Now I did that one on top and uh, we will leave it for about 15 to 30 minutes depending how hot it is. Today will be probably even 5 minutes because it got pretty warm outside. But if you have some little bitty places where you need to apply guys, all we can do is just get the pen. Okay, and you can apply with the pen. Okay, I just dripped. If you drip something a little bit, you can always wipe it quick. But you can feel it with the pen as well. That feels the scratches really, really easy. Let me just touch this thing up a little bit. Okay, perfect. So we'll continue in a little bit. So we're ready guys for a second coat. You can see how the first coat did shrink quite a bit. This is because when the paint dries, actually, uh, it's going to guys shrink because the liquid evaporates and you just have uh, less and less paint. So don't keep the bottle open for too long because the paint can dry okay in the applicator. Perfect, we're going to wait for that one now. Let's do a little bit here on the bottom. Now a little bit on that scratch on the bottom here. Great, we're going to do that one one more time here. Then we have guys, okay I forgot to do this one earlier. Perfect. Okay, if you hear some wind guys, we apologize, it's super windy today. Okay, I just have one more on top here to touch up. And we'll see if it's ready or we need to do one more coat after that. So let's see what it's going to look like once we're ready with that stuff. Okay, now we just have that spot right here. Okay, let me show you. Okay, we let it dry and we will continue. So I close it, I shake it again guys and we are going to apply more. Okay, this one will be the third coat and this one probably will be the last one. Because I can still see a little bit. Okay, of uh, black showing when it dried, that's normal. So try to feel it and don't get out of the scratch guys. Okay, this one's ready. Now we're going to do the one on the bottom. Perfect. We had that scratch here, remember? They are showing quite a bit. Perfect guys, okay now we are going to continue okay, with what we have right here. And just a little bit on top here. Now, remember how we had that big scratch, okay, over there by the tail line. Right? 
So you have to be very very careful and take your time guys And we just have one more over there to touch up And now we're going to let it dry Okay We'll let it dry and we'll continue with the next step so we open guys on the bottom side now okay check it out the bottom side and you have to be careful not to tip it upside down this is guys clear coat with a special sponge guys this is amazing I'm, I'm telling you those pens the new ones they're one of the best things that I've used for touch up and they're not too expensive so we dip a little bit of clear coat now okay let me show you we dip a little bit of clear coat and we're going to apply okay to the area that we fixed and what we are going to do guys we are going to do that actually twice two coats two coats of clear coat so let's apply some here so you can see so far how much better that thing looks let's do the big one here on top and the little one just the same way like we did those Okay, I'll keep doing that guys to the rest of it. I've been using that pen a while, I'm getting a little bit low on clear coat. And I'll show you guys, okay, what else we'll be doing. Okay, perfect, I got a bigger chunk now. That's great. This is very thick guys clear coat so uh, it's formulated to where it's not supposed to run again this is not a sponsored video it may sound like it but I paid for that pen with my own money guys okay We'll do that for the rest guys and we'll come back and show you what to do after that. Okay guys, so we get a little bit more clear coat now. And we're just going to cover the whole area now, okay. The whole area from what we did guys the first time, now we're doing it second time, second coat. So we either need two or three coats guys, it really depends. Uh, that's something that you will have to decide on your own it really depends on how deep the scratch is on quite a few factors actually that can tell you guys how deep to it okay so this is ready now I'm going to apply some right here on top Okay, we will let it dry and we will continue. So we're ready guys, I'm going to do one more very quick coat guys. I just want it to look as good as I can. But it's important not to make it fatter than your original paint, okay? That's, that's what it matters. Not to be fatter than the original, let's come right here now, okay. So. We keep doing that and three coats will be enough. I'm going to do that to all the area that we worked on guys. We will let it dry and we'll continue with the next step. So check out guys how much better it looks so far, right? But it's not perfect. So what we need to do, we need to get those scratches, we need to blend the paint because this one is a little bit shinier. Okay, you can see clear coat's been, okay, it's been dry, uh, probably it's been about three hours, but it's extremely hot today. 
Uh, next what we'll be using just clean water guys sandpaper 2500 sandpaper or 3000 guys go with a super fine sandpaper because you don't want to damage your clear coat it's important now not to over sand it guys so don't okay don't sand too much now so let's just focus the camera on the action here okay let's come back okay just like that perfect now it's important not to sand too much because you can uh, over sand the clear coat and you will have to respray it or touch it up guys okay it's a complicated thing but go and start back and forth do not go up and uh, go up and down or back and forth but never go in a circle guys never just back and forth up and down now i'm going to send a little bit where the scratches are and then i'm going to send where i touched up the paint a little bit to see if i can blend it in now when it dries guys that will be super dull but that's perfectly fine so i'm just trying to see how much i need to do it's really hard to tell but don't go through the clear coat guys if you see a spot where you start getting cover foam stop immediately guys it means that you went through the clear coat already Okay, just a little bit here. Now a little bit on top that we have right there, guys. Don't go on the edge, directly on the edge. Go underneath and below the edge. Okay, that's important to do. Underneath, guys, okay, and below the edge. Now we have a little bit right there. This is a little bit thick now, okay, on this side. I applied just a little bit more clear coat, so I'll try to sand it, but don't over sand it now. That's important. Okay, where we had scratches, I'm going to get those as well. Trying to reduce them because these scratches, the fine ones, they were just in the clear coat. They did not go through the clear coat. So everything should come out super nice guys at least we hope so right so what we're going to do i'm going to dry everything rinse it off dry it and i'll show you what it looks like and we'll continue in a second so next guys we're going to get a scratch repair here by turtle wax okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to apply okay a thin amount actually spewed some okay to the whole area now So we will need to do that twice probably guys, probably twice minimum. Just apply, you can buff it by hand, you don't even need special tools to buff it if you want, you just start turning in circles, okay, until it gets really shiny. But what I'm going to do, I'll cheat guys, and I'm going to get now the buffer, okay, and we're going to use a buffing pot, okay, like this one, and I'll buff it at about uh, 1500 RPMs. Now, don't stay guys too long in one spot. Why? Because you can guys burn the paint. So, what I'm going to do, okay, we're going to do one more coat. Second coat of that same scratch repair wax, guys. Okay, it's simply amazing stuff. So, go ahead and do one more and you'll see how much better it's going to look even after that. Again, don't stay too much at one spot because if you do, you can guys burn your paint or your clear coat. You have to be moving okay back and forth so this thing is ready now let's hit it one more time
so okay guys and you can see this is it guys this is the end result how much better that thing looks compared to what it was before right way way better so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time